Okay guys, this is a tutorial on how to install DiskKeeper 2008 Pro on your Windows machine. First thing you're going to do, open up your web browser. You're going to go to isohunt.com. You guys probably know how to do this already. You're going to type in in the search menu up top. Right up here, you're going to type Disk Keeper. Once that loads, it's going to be the first torrent. You're going to click on the first one here. You're going to view the files that it's in. You see, I've already posted a comment here because a lot of people have been having trouble installing this onto their computers. And I posted this reply here, you know, trying to help people out with my email address. And I've literally gotten like 30 emails already from people how to install this and it's just becoming a hassle so that's by making this tutorial. So what you're going to do is you're going to download the torrent. Of course you're going to need a torrent application running on your computer already. You probably guys know all this, just the installing is the complicated part. Alright, so over here I have, I have uTorrent, you guys might have something different. You're going to wait for it to download and once it's done downloading you're going to right click the download And this is for YouTube, and I don't know how this will go with any other ones, but right click open containing folder. This over here, this window will pop up, and that's the folder that the files are downloaded in. This is where you need to, this is where the instructions aren't really clear. Most people just, they click setup right here. But this isn't the setup that you need. First, you need to figure out what kind of operating system you have. If you have a 64 bit operating system, you need to open up this folder right here, which is x64. But most people don't have 64-bit operating systems, and if you don't know, you probably don't have this one because 64-bit is for more advanced users. You most likely have x86. So pick which one you want. They both have the same things in them. I have an x86 operating system. Then in that folder, you're going to click the setup. Now it's going to do this. It's going to come, you know, blah, 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 preparing to install, doing all this stuff. Then you're just going to follow the instructions, next, next, accept the agreement, yada, yada, yada. Now this is another thing that isn't included in the instructions, is uh, the license key. Everyone's, I don't have my license key, where is it? I can't find it. What you're going to do is not going to enter license key, you're going to click this down here. I have purchased and downloaded the software already. Alright, so then you just click next, and then this is right here this screen comes up and you're going to click the first button which says browse and this is where you're going to have to open up the cracked file that comes with the torrent so you need to find wherever it was downloaded for me by default it's downloaded to my documents and then downloads you find it here there you go and then disk keeper and then you're going to select the folder crack once you're in the disk keeper download folder you click crack and there's only one file you click license.dll and you'll come down and you click open then make sure this is unchecked it probably won't be checked but if it is checked make sure you uncheck it then click next and then there's two things here you want to uncheck these both of them just for now I and mean, these are just settings actually you want to keep this one always unchecked never check that but this one you can change. This is actually a pretty good feature that comes with the software. It automatically defragments your computer as you're using it. It's uh, basically a defragmentation shield. You know, stops your hard drive from being fragmented. Um, but you make sure this is unchecked just for now. So then you click next. And then right now this is actually a requirement that you create a shortcut on the desktop. So then you click next. And then just click install little progress bar will go by, yada yada, just la 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 la, pretty simple. And once this is finished, it's going to come up with this screen. Now, this is one thing that isn't really clear in the instructions. It'll ask you, what do you want to do? It'll ask you, you want to register online, register factory email, never register or remind me. You want to click never ever register, because registering is for gay people who buy this shit hit next and then finish now oh wow yeah I haven't installed on my computer but right now no not done yet 
So next thing you'll need to do is open up the start menu. Open up start. Now I have my start menu on top just for to stop any confusion. You can, you know, it doesn't matter where it is. I also have some visual effects. As you can see it's a little transparent. But anyway, you're going to click run. And then from there, you're going to type services, S-E-R-V-I-C-E-S dot M-S-C. Now, zoom in on that, services dot M-S-C. Click OK. And then, once that renders, this window will pop up. And all you have to do is look here on this list, and there'll be a process here named Disk Keeper. Just scroll down the list until you find Disk Keeper. Here it is right here. So what you do is you right-click it and you click stop okay it'll stop the service okay what you want to do is do not close out of this window yet what you want to do is just minimize that for now minimize this all this now go to your desktop and remember when I said it's important that you keep the file you, you make an icon for your desktop well this is where it comes in use you want to right click and hit properties alright so then you want to copy this address right here this address right here, I'm sorry I went off there you gotta forgive me, I'm left handed and I'm, my camera, I, have to, I can only hold it in my left hand it's, it's, it's all bungo, but whatever so you want to copy this address copy and then open up one of your folders and just open up any folder, let's say open up my documents or whatever and just type in that address It's going to come with what's it called with uh, quotes. You want to get rid of the quotes too, and then hit enter, and it'll take you to this folder. Okay, I'm going to be posting that in the uh, information of the video, just in case you didn't get it, because I know hey, I was kind of shaky at the time. I'm just trying to look at the screen. So then you have this window open. And then you go back to your Disk Keeper download folder, and then there's this folder here called Crack. All right. So, first thing you do is you drag in the license file into this folder here. Drag it in, and voila, it's there. Then what you want to do is find this tab.dll, and you want to delete it. Yes. And then you want to go and get the crack DLL from the crack directory of the Disk Keeper download fo folder and you want to drag that into the Disk Keeper program folder. By the way, that whole address thing, um, that was just for basically unadvanced users. Anyone else will know how to get to the program f program file folder of a uh, Disk Keeper. Just, you know, C program files, la 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 la. You know all that. Okay, so once you put those cracked files in there, you're going to close out of this. And then you need to go back to this window back up here. Remember I told you not to close out of that. If you close out of that, you're going to have to go start run services at MSC and then find Disk Keeper again. And then right click and hit start again. It'll go through the process and it'll start. Right now I'm pretty sure you're finished with everything you'd have to do. So let's open up Disk Keeper and it'll say information, check it for updates. Click cancel. Okay, you want to click cancel. Do not ever update the software that's been cracked because it'll probably uncrack or tell you, like, you know, oh, we know what you're doing, blah, 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 blah. Cancel. Okay, so here we go. Now we can use this program to defragment our computer faster than the built in Windows application that defragments. Um, that's it. I mean, if you don't know how to use the program, it's pretty simple. You know, you just select the drive, defragment. You know, let me zoom out. Right here, this is just, you know, fragmentation and. All this, you know, it's pretty simple. I mean, if you don't understand this, you should not be watching this video because um, you won't be able to use the program anyway. You don't even know what it's for. So it'll just, you know, it'll, first it'll analyze all the data on the drive, and then it'll defragment it, and it'll make your computer run a lot better. Especially if you're a, a gamer and you play a lot of games, your computer will be fragmented very quickly. Also, if you download a lot of files like um, discographies of music artists and such things. But anyway, that's pretty much it. I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, just comment. Thank you very much.